In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to get a remote agent to start monitoring servers on the remote network. In this scenario we have server monitor installed in our central office. That's the uh, central monitoring service and we've already installed a remote remote monitoring agent at a dental office. And in this case we're going to want to monitor two particular servers in his office, archive and domain. If we go and check, the remote agent is already connected and it's running fine. So what we need to do is tell that remote agent to uh, create new computers and start monitoring them. The easiest way to add new computers is the smart config. Um, in this case, we can type in archive and domain, and then we need to tell it, uh, we need to tell the system who, which, which service is going to monitor those new computers. It can either be the central monitoring service if it's on our local LAN, or we can tell the system that the remote agent needs to monitor those. If we didn't happen to know those two computer names, we can do a quick ping sweep, and what that's going to do we've just told the central monitoring service to send a command to the remote agent and the re remote agent is now doing a ping sweep of that remote network and telling us which computers it has found I'm going to pause here for just a moment and let this finish and I'll come back when it's done okay the ping sweep has finished that took approximately 30 seconds we're going to go back. It's added all of those servers to our list. In our case, we just want to monitor archive and domain. These are the default server, uh, the default monitors that we want to create, and we're going to let it go. What's happening right now is we've now sent a command to the remote agent, and we're telling the agent, please inspect archive and domain, and create default monitors for those we can sit here and wait and watch this if you like um, if there's just a few computers it doesn't take very long if you happen to be adding a, a large list maybe a hundred servers um, you might not want to wait a long or wait around and in that case you can just close the dialogue and continue working so we oh, there we go all done we're going to come up here to servers and devices we see that it's added the two servers and each server has a bunch of default monitors. Um, on the server status report we see that this particular server is being monitored by the Dr. Jones's dental office agent. One troubleshooting tip, sometimes you might uh, run a smart config and it will create the computers and only create ping monitors and nothing else. When that happens, it usually means uh, one of two things. I'm going to switch over to the agent really quick. Sometimes the agent might have been left running as local system. In that case, the agent is not able to connect to the remote computers and check the event logs and the disk space and so forth, so it will only be able to ping. So you need to change the account that the agent is running as. Or the other uh, possibility is that the server is marked as a non-Windows computer. If it's not marked as Windows, the system will not try and create Windows-specific monitors, such as event, mo uh, event log monitors and monitoring services, and etc. One more quick tip, just like you can add servers to the remote agent through smart config, you can also do it manually, uh, just like always. And just like uh, with smart config, we have to tell it who's going to monitor this new server. And in this case, we want the remote agent to watch it. And we'll let it try and figure out credentials based on credentials it already knows. Yes create the default monitors and like before we just sent a command to the remote agent to please uh, create some default monitors for the SAN test server and if we come back it's added the server and there are all the new monitors created for us